Okay. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Destiny Board Traveler. We're back to this piece of crap again, everybody. And Andrew's here. Hi. Hi. Alright. So who should we pick? You can pick Dark Magician Girl. Uh, why not? I could pick Dark Magician Girl, but I, I kind of want to be Kaiba, because why wouldn't you want to be Kaiba? Kaiba's lame! Okay, but he's Seto Kaiba. He's lame. But he's Kaiba. He's voiced by Brock from Pokemon. He's also voiced by Meta Knight from Kirby right back at you. Yeah, yeah, he is. I summon my blue eyes, white dragon. No, he doesn't. He wouldn't sound like that at all. You one hundred percent. I don't want to pick Kaiba though, and uh, we can't. We're not doing a dedicated two player because um, can't, couldn't get that to work. But there's also the lock characters. There's Grandpa, Kaiba Man, Yami Bakura, and main character that for okay. some reason was locked. But we could also pick Kaiba. You won't be satisfied unless you pick Kaiba, huh? Look, I just want to be Kaiba. I mean, if you don't right. want to be Kaiba, you can pick whoever you want. You have the controller. I'm just saying my vote is Kaiba. I'm going to pick, uh, pick Kaiba Man. You can do that. I'm sure, he, I, if I remember correctly, wasn't he, like, broken? All other players lose one turn. Yeah, that's yeah. a fair and balanced ability. How about we do that? God, imagine if that Let's was... Let's do like that. A, imagine if someone in Mario Party had that ability. He said like, you guys can't something move. there. Okay, so if we're gonna go for a longer game, how many boards should we use? We could use we could use this many, Andrew. Doesn't that sound fun? Uh, yes. How did you know? That's what I wanted to do. Eight of them. H how did you know? Seven. Six. Doesn't this look wonderful? Oh yeah, I, I know what all these mean. I definitely know what uh, the square. Not mean. that many. No. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, if we're gonna do a moderate one. Might, without getting too bored, how about three? Yeah, three is, sounds like a good number. All right, and for the first map, let's see, we got Domino Park, Desert, Kaiba Land, Inside the Puzzle, this is one of the locked ones, Graveyard, Fallen Players Revive, that's a special thing, Kaiba Corporation, mm -hmm. Chicago. <laughs> my favorite. Above Tibet, my favorite loot Yu-Gi-Oh location, Toon World, and that's it. Pretty sure I have everything unlocked at this point. All right, all right. Uh, well, I definitely want to go to Kaiba Land. Kaiba Land, where's that one? It's Kaiba Corporation or Kaiba Land? Kaiba Land. I it was like see. one of the first ones. Yeah, Kaiba Let's see, Land. the effect is a different event occurs depending on the dice total. Also, this text is horrid and there's nothing I can do about it. That's okay. All right, and let's pick a fancy one like um, Above Tibet. Gust of Wind blows all cards away. Draw a new hand of five cards. That sounds dumb. Let's do it. Yeah. And uh, I kind of wanted to go to Chicago. Stars of all players is raised level of highest player. That's stupid and broken. Let's not do that. Yeah, let's go to Chicago instead. Chicago. Shuffle field monsters and turn them face down. All right, fine. Let's do that. And the recommended for this is 35. Should we go with that? I don't know what that means. So yeah, sure. Why did not? you not watch my video on this game? Andrew? I did, but it's been a while. I know. I, I, made it like a, I made it like a year ago. I meant to rewatch it to freshen up, but then I never got around to that. Let's just let's just go ahead and do 35. This will pro no doubt we're not we're not going to finish this game in one sitting. We can save state for that. Okay, cool. Ha ha ha. I mean, Summon you mean monsters. leave our Game Boy Advance on overnight, right? Yeah. Summon monsters and get at least 35 stars to win. With life points, the three players reach zero. A winner will be determined. Well, here goes. Begin the game. It's my turn. It's my turn. My. By the way, so Chicago is actually the official stage for Dark Magician Girl. Why? Because when I think of Dark Magician Girl, I think of Chicago. Yeah, that, that's what I think of when I think of the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe. Anyways, Creep's turn. Creep choose this. So what's stupid about this game is that the dice... Always has a one in six chance of switching your monster's position. So, this game is all dumb, dumb RNG. And oh, you'll never win. My favorite. Creep defeat defended successfully. End I of have turn. no idea what just happened. It's Kaiba Man's turn. She all lost right. life points, so she probably she did. Bad. She got hurt. All right, so I got Cyber Commander, Wolf, Wolf, just Wolf. Wolf. Also, don't forget, literally all the information aside from attack and defense points is worthless. All right. In level, I guess. Trap Master. Meteor Dragon. Oh, nice. Perfect Machine King. Zargon? I think that's what it says. And Lizark. Whatever this thing is. Um, So Starface has a slight chance of being rolled just more likely for some reason. It's a, This is a very dumb game. If you haven't seen my video on on the Yellow Channel, go watch it. I call It's called The Problems with Yu-Gi-Oh! Destiny Board Traveler because this is a dumb game. Yeah, and if you have watched it, go watch it again because actually, why not? I don't want to roll a four, actually, because rolling a four would mean I um will land on the next corner, which will activate an effect instead of a monster. So I want 
This is probably good. Uh, I need a tribute for five to seven. Yeah. Six. Okay. This. We this. should use Wolf. We should use Wolf. Wolf is good. Let's make let's make him the star face, actually. Hang on. Star face, star face, let's see. Regular face, and I guess Meteor Dragon for the movement, but we can't summon it because we don't have anything anything yeah. to sacrifice. Um Guess this as well. Roll dice. Okay, so here's how this works. And once again, this is a thing that's never explained in game. You can mash a button absurdly fast, and it gives you a higher chance of rolling the star face. Nice. Yeah, that and my video I actually even showed there's parts of the manual that give the wrong information, which is cool. Nice. Select attack defense position. So I hit, I'm gonna select attack, and I'm guaranteed to win, unless of course I get the one in six chance where I go to defense mode. It's what upon. What upon? Yeah. Oh, see? Look at that. Nice. I got I got one in six, Andrew. So, nice. this entire turn was now a waste of time. Nice. Because I did everything right, but RNG screwed me over. That's cool. We lost to Wadapon. Yeah, so nothing happened. Don't you love this game? Also, welcome to Above Tibet. <laughs> nice. Now we've got Yugi. He's dueling. Yami Yugi. You also can't pick the AI people. It's just kind of random when you it select. It's just B. Creep chose attack position. Yay. Yes. And he also got one in six. Hey. Welcome to the real world. It's cool. No matter what you do, there's just that one in six chance where you will just lose. Oh, uh, you, we got Yugi and Yugi. Uh, Yam we got Yugi Moto and Yami Yugi Moto. You know Yami literally just means dark, right? Literally just means dark Yugi. Yeah. He's evil. Evil. So well, any this game is a thing about this game is that it takes forever for anything, anything, and I mean anything to happen. Yeah. Because it's like Monopoly, where you have to wait for everyone to buy up, buy up and Property occupy space, spaces. Because yeah. then once people start landing on your spaces, that's where the real stuff begins. But so can you imagine playing this on the back in the day with link cable? Because that wouldn't work very well. I can't imagine it would. Because, um, I think, I don't remember if I mentioned this video, but the thing about mashing to get the star face, can you imagine doing that with a link cable and, and, and not, praying that it doesn't Because if you out. get one communication error, your entire game, it's probably going to take hours, would be over. Oh, my. It's really dumb. It's really, really dumb. It's a dice duel. This is a very weird, weird game. Oh, hey, one and six. Why is everybody getting one and six? That's so stupid. We need a term for this. I think the, one in six is a pretty good term, honestly. It's just one it's of like the, the one in two fifty six from Pokemon. Oh look, I got my look at this. Kaiba man can use a superpower. The flame wingman. Am I the only one who was bothered by the fact that whenever they talked about the flame wingman's ability, they always referred to it as his superpower? Flame wingman. Yeah. In GX. Oh, okay. He calls the effects of his hero superpowers. No, mm. just Flame Wingman. He didn't do that for anyone else. Kaiba Man used superpowers. Yeah, it was just so, Flame Wingman. All players lose one turn except for Kaiba Man. So Kaiba Man's power is he literally gets to take two turns because screw you. Yeah. And meanwhile, other characters just get, like, the most worthless abilities. But he just gets, like, ridiculous. Like, Yami Yugi says, oh, he has a better chance of rolling the star face. But no, Kaiba Man gets to go again. All right, so I want to avoid level two. This should be fine. Starface. Actually, I want the wolf. The wolf's good. Level two, you know, three. Games, monsters and GX. Uh, they, you know, two. they really changed a lot of the effects in the anime to uh, benefit him more because he cheated a lot. I was pretty sure because the anime came before the cards. Well, maybe that, but even still, the effects were different, and thus Jaden is a cheater. Level two. Okay, let's do this. Let's occupy a space. There's Tristan and Tay it. in the background. We can talk about how Jaden cheated. Jaden's a dirty cheater, yep. Yeah. It's Kaiba Man's turn. He stacks his deck. Uh, he has position. like seven polymerizations in his deck, and you can't convince me otherwise. He, do he doesn't even use Fusion Sage. He uses Fusion Gate. Yeah. The limit is not four. The limit's three in Yu-Gi-Oh. I thought it was four now. I thought it was four. Kaiba tore up the fourth blue eyes because the limit's three. That's how you remember. Creep rolls a miss. Time huh. for a card battle. We did it. We beat Karibo. I did it. 
Now I get a space. Creep went to the graveyard. I think Gramps... Uh, yeah, Grandpa's superpower. I don't remember exactly how it works. He literally changes the rules. So he he screws the rules. Yes, he does. And I my level went up by two. It needs to be 35 for a victory, because I summoned a level two monster. Yugi loses a turn. Everyone loses a turn. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. I get to go again. And the superpowers, it's 100% RNG when your turn starts. So oh, good. It's, I think it's technically possible for Kaiba Man to just keep going. There, if you believe in multiverse, there is a universe where that can happen. Different dimension dragon. Okay, so I want to avoid level That's 3. That's a level 5 monster? It sucks. Yeah, it does. It's trash. So here's what the, how this works, Andrew. So in order to summon it, I need to sacrifice a monster, right? So if yeah. I roll this... And I, and I sacrifice Cyber Commander that I summoned last turn. Mm -hmm. Then I go into battle, and I get one and six. My monster is sacrificed, and I lose the duel, and I lose. Oh, good. So that's why that that's really stupid, huh? Yes. Okay, so, yeah, I need to avoid... Hang on a second. Uh, wrong button. I don't want to I don't want to roll a three, because it will... Hang on. Lucky zone. I forget what this does again. Move to Chicago. I don't want to... That's too much for me. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, that says Doom T. It's supposed to say Death T. This oh. is a reference to the manga. This whole stage is... Huh. That little glass box in the middle there, that's where he, like, has his duel against Yugi, I think. Or y duel against Kaiba. Yugi does. Oh. Um, anyways. Don't want to roll a three right now. I want to occupy this, this space, so... Let's go ahead and try... Put him a regular face. Three, three, three. Crap. Uh, I guess we'll... No, regular face on this too, I guess. Might do this just for movement. Um... Actually, level four. I'll put the star face for that one. Regular face. Uh... Mm. Still sheep too. Hmm... I don't want to go to the Chicago, so I'm just going to roll the dice. Roll the dice. Yeah, I guess I need to do it from this. Okay, let's not roll the blank face. Roll not three. So level six. I'm going to have to sacrifice Cyber Commander now. Let's That's hope okay. this doesn't go wrong. Tribute is needed. Select tribute. I know how to... I know. Okay, you can let me pick. So let's hope I don't get one in six, I think. <laughs> I don't think it could happen again. It's only a one in six chance, and it happened three times in the last round. It's Creep's turn. All right, it's a dice duel. Man. Okay, I went oh. down. That's fine. That's fine. He has enough attack power. Time for a card battle. Look at that. Hey. Destroyed. The, 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 starting, the, the starting gray cards, they have extremely low attack and defense power. Okay. Creep went to the graveyard, and now I go up six levels. Nice. End of turn. It's Yami Yugi's turn. There he goes. The monster's already summoned. You don't have any monsters for tribute. Cannot summon. Ha, <laughs> loser. He's just gonna get attacked now. See, that's how it works. When I said it was like Monopoly, where it's like your life points are basically your money. You're gonna just get hit now. Yeah. Unless you get lucky. Well, he did get a little lucky. Reduces his own attack. So is he just like... Program. Oh, yeah, he got hit for zero attack points. He got nothing. Creep defended successfully. End of turn. It's your turn, Yugi. So we've got Daniel, oh, and we've yeah. got the, the cooler Daniel, basically. I, I forgot. Um, Regular Yugi actually has a very stupid superpower. Oh, boy. Know what it is? Tell me. Change of heart. He Tell will, me. He will randomly pick... There's a chance that a random monster on the field will just become his for oh, no for free. Good. That's to and this includes like if I summon like blue eyes or something, but that we're Kaiba man. That's like our thing. He just is dirty cheater, and no, it's it's permanent. He gets it for free. It's so stupid. Can you put yourself in defense position? Yeah, I could, and then I'd have to depend on a one in six chance and putting me in de de putting me in attack position. That's an even worse worse chance to go for. There we go. Summon successful. Raised by three. It's Kaiba Man's turn. Alrighty. Set on dice. So let's see. I don't want to roll. Got a fairy uh, dragon now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I don't want. I don't think I have any fives anyway. 
So this seems like a good monster. Let's do that. Yeah. I don't want to sacrifice we have, that. We have different dimension dragon. That's it. That's perfect. We're full. You did it. I'm gonna roll something good no matter what I do. Uh, well, Level three. That monster's already summoned. So what happens if we land on a space that's owned by someone else? We battle their monster. Nice. That's how it works. Property wars, yo. Yeah. Fence position. It's a dice duel. If Me. You roll. You roll what I think you're going to roll. Okay, good, good. Every single time. We God, the, the man creep. stole the space. Creep was defeated. Creep's dumb. I did it. Monster summon successful. Went up by three. Look at that. Nice. So I think maybe... I don't know. At, with three boards at 35 stars, it might be more likely that person will run out of life points first. <laughs> you either get the stars or you're the last person with life points. I see. It's that thing again. It's Creep's turn. Creep chose attack position. It's a dice duel. Come to think of it, that might end up happening. Oh no, he lost attack and defense. His Place zero. your bets now, folks. Creep rolls reduce attack defense. But there are no cards, so it makes no difference. Time for a card battle. Uh-oh, he's gonna get hit. Yugi receives 35... Er, Reselves? I, I know what those words say, but looking at this text infuriates oh, me. Oh, yeah. No, they, they just blob together. Do you notice all the words are outlined with white? The white, the white words are outlined with white, Andrew. Oh, you know what? I never really, like, thought about it, but yeah, they totally are. Isn't that cool? Oh, no, his superpower. You can use superpower. Oh, cool. You use superpower. At least that's what I think he said. Makes one enemy monster have a change of heart, but sometimes it doesn't work. Oh, uh, look, see? He stole my monster. He stole our meteor dragon. Yugi's level raised by six. Yeah, it did. Don't you love how wonderful and fair this game is? Yeah, totally. He got my monster for free. Dumb. <laughs> Absolutely dumb. Just like the actual change of heart card. So fair. No, change of heart only lasts one turn. And sometimes one turn is all you need. Yeah. It's dumb. It's stupid. Ha, <laughs> Yugi got hit again. So what happens... Okay, so if they run out of life points, what happens to the monsters they have that are summoned? I think they're just still there. Oh. I, yeah, and you think I played the game long enough for that situation to occur? Yeah, probably. Well, I played it a lot for, for what, that video. What's my doing? Worse. Oh, Aroma Tactics. She she does her cheating thing. Oh, the perfume on the cards. Got yeah, it. see monsters in all spaces for one turn. She can smell the future. <laughs> that monster is already summoned. Yugi is tier zero. He's such a <laughs> dumb, dumb card. Face down cards revealed. You learn that nothing defeats my Aroma Tactics. It's my turn. It's Creep's turn. My chose attack position. It's a jar. Creep shows defense position, folks. It's a dice duel. Is that Cyber Jar? I think that's Cyber Jar. It's, I, don't know. I don't know. It's too fucking small for me to the see now. The art is so crusty. It is pretty crust. I think she won. Time for battle. Yeah, she won. Yeah, she definitely won. Her superpower is active. Also, Dark Magician Girl has a stupid one. Oh, boy. Where... For the turn, she inst her all her monsters will turn into dark magician cards. So she'll randomly, so she could just be summoned like something like Key Mace with 200 attack points, and all of a sudden it's like, here you go, here's Dark Paladin, here's Magician of Black Chaos oh for free. My God, that sounds horrible. And then Yami Yugi is like, you have a higher chance of rolling the star face. It's like, wow, thanks, <laughs> thanks, that's, that's so cool. Man. It's Ancient Jar actually. Oh, get okay. right, Andrew. I'm sorry, I couldn't okay. read through the crust. So, I want to avoid level level two. Uh, so, let's see. What's a good... This is probably good to put on star. Yeah. So, let's see here. Three. Three. Uh, don't want two. So, so I, I, I vaguely touched on it earlier, but yeah, don't... Jaden cheated a lot in GX. But then again, most Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonists do. They do. Least, at least, at the very least, Yugi and Jane did it a lot because, you know, rules and whatnot. Got level five. Wonderful. Nice. Now I gotta sacrifice my only monster for a chance <laughs> of doing this. Also, notice how there's no card on that now? Yeah. Because it was sacrificed? Mm -hmm. That means if you land on that space, you're no battle happens. You just summon the monster. Oh, nice. That's one good thing. Select tribute for summoning. Press A button to confirm. Be to cancel. Okay, LMR button. Okay. So, let, we gotta get rid of Wolf, Andrew. Oh, I love Wolf. And we're about, we did this just so we can get one and six. Yep. 
Oh man, it only has... Oh, it's Wadapon again! This game is a wonderful, wonderful quality thing. It's a dice duel. Alright, let's do it. Oh, thank hey. goodness. At least this doesn't have the Reshef of Destruction rules where there's elemental weaknesses for no good reason. Oh, good. My favorite. Creep went to the graveyard. Alright, we got our different dimension dragon guy up. So I had to, don't forget, I had to give up a level 3 monster for that, so I only got a net gain of, gain of 2 levels off that move. Oh, that's okay. Such a risk. But if you have a high powerful monsters on board, then your opponent can land on it and you can hit them for high damage. Or you, you can steal them. Mm. Yeah, you can. Yugi can steal them. You can very much steal them. Can you beat Yu-Gi-Oh! Destiny Board Traveler without summoning a monster? With mm. Yugi, you can. I mean, theoretically, they could. I guess. I guess your opponents could run out of life points. They also ignore the giant Hulk back there. Oh. Oh, okay. He, he's. He didn't even tribute the monsters he stole. What a weenie. <laughs> Mai's just. Mai just has Chicago all to herself. We should move on there once we summon monsters. Yeah. Might might be a good idea to start making some progress. Oh, she's got Amazonas Archer. At least I'm pretty sure that's what that is. You can't tell by the pixels. All that compressed art. There we go. <gasps> we got our broken ability. Yay. Okay, so... Yeah, we ob obviously there's no reason not to no. use this. I assume we can keep them for future use if we want. I'm pretty sure they don't stay. All right, I well might then... be wrong, but do you think I, I, I oh, care hey, enough? Oh, we got another Meteor Dragon. Yeah. Um, so let's see. We want to avoid... Hang on, let me look at the map. What's it look like? Okay, so... Creep. So... Yes, Grandpa is two, a playable three, character. Four. I don't know what he does, though. Actually, two, no. Three, Christian, four. explain to me what he did. Two, three, four would be good. So let's see. Going... F getting this would be fine... Uh, actually, no, this would be better for Starface. I mean, let me just move the Starface. Starface, regular face, regular, 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 regular. Regular. Roll dice. Okay, no tributes required for any results. Alright. Oh. There we go. Level four. Let's do it. That monster is already summoned. Yes, sir, we. Not to mention, by the way, so un to unlock the hidden characters in this game, which are Grandpa, Yami Yugi, Yami Bakura, and, um... Kaiba Man? Yeah, Kaiba Man. Yeah. I'm playing as Kaiba Man. How would I forget that? You have to enter uh, codes on the title screen. These codes were never officially released anywhere. Oh. But people just... You can find them on websites, apparently, for how to do them, but... I don't know what the int I don't there's no way to to know about them in game. You have to find out from outside sources, but as far as I know, there's no official thing that gave them away and no one knows why. Oh. I genuinely don't understand. It's just I I don't know, maybe it was just in the strategy guides or something. It's really weird. Get the power, Nintendo power. But it's I don't know, I really don't get it. I don't think anyone truly does. And they lose their turn. Right. How's it, how's it feel, Yugi? He's just okay. gonna steal our shit again. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, look at that. What's he got? If I can roll a, f if I roll a four here. Oh, that, hey, oh, that's my meteor dragon. Yeah, he stole. Uh, yeah, it is our meteor dragon. So I, can, if I don't want to go level four because I can't beat that. No. Mm hmm. So okay, level three. Let's. <laughs> that'd be good to star face. Level three. Don't want that. Level three. Level three. three. Level 7, level 2. Level 2, and don't want that. Can't risk it. Actually, hang on a second. Use space. Mm, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That space is free, so if I get level 7, I, I, I can gar I'm can guaranteed to summon it without risk of 1 and 6. Yeah, and we could fight Yugi, right? Is that how no, it works? No, it's not oh, how it works. Okay. God damn it. I just want to beat up Yugi. Don't we all? Yeah, he cheated. Did Destiny Board Traveler have a strategy guide? You'd be surprised when it gets a strategy guide. Fallout 76 had a strategy guide at launch, and I feel bad for the person that had to figure out how to write an entire guide worth of stuff for that. Kaiba Man's turn, select attack. Alright, so step one, don't buy our game. Defense position, folks. Nice duel. Okay. 
Okay, good, good, good. We got a summon. It's only level two, though, so... Here's the thing about low, weak monsters. You do want to sacrifice them so that you can... Having a stronger monster on board is the best option uh -huh. because you can defend it from your opponent landing on it. But here's the problem, is uh -oh. that um, Yugi exists and he can change of heart because he's a stupid yeah. little piece of crap. Yami Yugi can use a superpower. Whoa. So now he can just roll Starface. Yomi Yugi yeah. has a higher chance of rolling Starface. Wow, what a great ability for a locked character. <laughs> Yugi is the one that's unlocked at the start. Yami Yugi is the locked one, so okay, yeah. difference in ability is wonderful, ain't it? Yeah, it's great. I hope he gets one in six. <laughs> it's Yami Yugi's turn. So here's a question, chat. Does anyone know what? Does anyone know how Jaden cheated with Thunder Giant in the anime? Because he did do that. That's the one I always remember. What? What did he do? Uh, Thunder Giant's ability in the card game requires you to make a tribute in order to activate his ability, but Jaden never did that. Oh yeah, I know that. But again, the, the card the anime was they didn't make the card until after Andrew. But they still had the effects. Not really. They didn't finalize the stuff. They changed uh -huh. stuff to make it to make it more balanced. Uh, whatever. Ugh. He still cheated. Or do you want to talk about Wall Shadow's ability next? I'd rather not. Yeah, exactly. Also, here comes Yugi. He's gonna battle. Let's talk about the part where, uh... Take damage, bro. Take damage. Let's talk about the part where, uh, Yugi used Makyu, the poison mists, to, uh, do something to Weevil, despite not having summoned Skull on the field. Attack the moon. Oh, yeah, attack the moon. Uh, destroy the castle so that it falls on top of his monsters, and then they all died. Yu-Gi-Oh is weird, weird man. It is weird. I like Aromatic the part where you tips. say, where you say actually cheated by his own admission, but he was like, you're cheating too, so I don't care. I don't, I don't think I've gotten that far. Don't. It's don't not just... that, it's not that far in. It's only like a couple episodes in. I, I don't recall, what are you talking about? I'm talking about his duel with Armstrong. Oh, that duel? Yeah. That wasn't really him cheating, though. I'm, he hid called the Haunted in his sleeve. I'd say that counts as cheating. That was Armstrong cheating. Yeah, and then you say cheated back by hiding Call of the Haunted up his sleeve. I don't recall that at all. I recall that 100% happening. Chat, back me up. Those of you I, who actually I, watched 5D. I'm watching it recently, and I, I don't remember I that. I promise you that happened, or at least something akin to it. No, what happened... No, Andrew, what happened was there was a blackout, and he had his cards face down on the field. He swapped th their positions because he knew Armstrong was was looking at his cards beforehand. All right, but I'm pretty sure that's cheating. Not really. Are you sure? I feel like that's, that's definitely cheating. I mean, not now that it, it would matter. It, since it, would, no it would matter now in link in link summon rules where columns have or columns matter. I but guess, back then, a position did not matter whatsoever. I guess that's true. But even still, that that seems like that seems like it would have been a gray area. Oh hey, we got more. Like it would be, jar. it's cheating by the current rules, but back then when columns did not matter, it actually would have no effect unless the other person was intentionally looking. All right, all right, I'll believe you. I, I then why then why do I remember him hiding it up his sleeve? That was the other guy he was dueling. Anyway, it doesn't matter. No, doesn't Armstrong matter. didn't do that. Armstrong was just using cameras. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if I go for a five, that would be best. Let's see. Do I have a level five? I do not. What about, what's seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't want that. Remember when Jaden used Pot of Greed and then didn't explain what it did? I mean, how, what, like, how do you explain Pot of Greed? Okay, just ignore anything but three, I guess. Uh, actually, no, I can't roll a two. I can't take out that monster. Crap. I'm kind of stuck right now, aren't I? One, two, three, All four, right, five, Chad six. Alright, chat agrees with me. That is definitely cheating. Even if it doesn't, even if it technically means nothing, as as definitely cheating. It was specifically used the used to uh, affect the outcome of the game. Yeah. Yeah, but he did that because the other guy was using cameras to spy on which cards he set down. Yeah, so he counter cheated. Yeah, but. So you admit that I'm right? No, I don't think I consider it cheating because columns didn't matter. It would have no effect on the game all at right, all. Let me ask you something. Unless his would you be was able, cheating. Would you, let me ask you something. Do you think you'd be able to get away with that in an actual game? It would have no effect on the game back then and, and now, that But era would someone rules. let you do it? If you asked your opponent, hey, mind if I swap these two face-down positions? You wouldn't you ask you your opponents. 
All right, but is it? Are you allowed to do that anyway? No. I'm pretty sure it's cheating, Christian. People shuffle their hands around. Yeah, you can so do that. Their opponents don't follow the cards in there. Yeah, you can do that. All right, whatever. I don't. I don't care anymore. No one in the no one in the universe had ever swapped their face down positions. One. That's definitely cheating. Then three, five, six. Six would be good. Let me do that. Yeah, see, Chad agrees with me. It's 100% cheating. If Dylan were still here, he'd agree with me that it was cheating. Two, three, four. I'm just gonna use four. I can't use any level three or two anything. This is dumb. This is the kind of debate to have on a Monday? Yes, it is. Is swapping cards that have no... If sw is doing something that has yeah. no effect considered cheating? The answer is yes. Is 100% a cheat. Three, three, two. No one's not a cheater. He grinded all his Pokemon and Crystal Kaizo legitimately. Hmm. If it has no effect, but it did have an effect. It actually it, it impacted the outcome of the game. That's why it was cheating. But is there a, what is there a rule though saying you can't do that? That's that's what. But is there cheap. a rule saying you can? Is there anything in the rules about doing that specific thing? Mm. That's why I'm saying like if it isn't outright cheating, it's definitely like a gray area. You would ha you would actually have to call a judge over that. Be like, is this okay? Can I do this? Mm, yeah, just like when you play a seal or a seal of Orichalcos and the card states give your give your <laughs> opponent the soul. Call a judge over that one, Andrew. I dare you. <laughs> I will. Hey, uh, so I'm just gonna the, go put the, the level three ones on me, there. The ana in the anime, when I when he won the duel, he got his soul. So can I have his soul? There we go, level three. So let's land on this. That's a lucky zone. What does this do? TCG judge here. Yes, that is a rule. It is cheating. Good. Okay. I'm right. Okay. Is Dev also in chat while we're at it? I don't know. Dice total is four. Miss. Miss. Heh, that's a miss. End of turn. I don't know what that was about, but whatever. I'm a judge and you can't see? Okay, but here's the thing. We're, we're talking about a duel that happened in five Ds. We're, yeah, like, and in jail. Yes, five Ds and in jail. <laughs> this was before, uh, during the era of Yu-Gi-Oh! where your columns didn't matter. In fact, all of the games, you couldn't even pick what, what, what spot you put your cards in. And... Once Link Monsters became a thing with their arrows, the co uh, there were suddenly a bunch of effects that affected sp the, s the positions of monsters. So and it would be cheating then. I I don't think it would be cheating back then when it literally didn't matter. But Ted, okay, let me ask you another question. Did button. anyone else up to that point ever swap the face down positions? Not really, because it wasn't relevant to the writing. Exactly. So the fact that he did it when no one else did clearly means that it couldn't be done, and then it's cheating. <laughs> Yusei did hide blast in the room. Dylan, back me up on this. Is Yusei oh, oh. swapping the position of his face down cards cheating? Of course it is. Yeah, see? Why? It doesn't <laughs> affect the game. He it only did, though! Okay, okay. He think, only think did it. it. Think of it like this. Let's say you play a card that's like, you can put any card in your hand from your deck, right? You uh -huh. have to show it to your opponent. Let's say, for all intents and purposes, I pick Mirror Force. So I knew I, you were going to pick Mirror Force. You would, right? <laughs> so I put Mirror Force in my hand, and then I suddenly place a card face down. Oh, I wonder what that card could be. Now, imagine I have five cards on the field, and you obviously saw which one I just put down. And I was just like, oh, I'm just going to play 52 pick up, and uh, good luck, asshole. Break my Mirror Force. Okay, that's a fair argument. But let's see, the, the reason you say shuffled his face downs... Was because there was a blackout, and he knew his opponent was using security so cameras to look cheated. at his cards. He cheated okay. to retaliate okay. against okay. cheating. Okay, he retaliated against cheating. He Fine. Did, he did cheat, but he cheated with honor. Okay, It was Fine. fair game at that point. Oh, hey, our superpower. We can skip everyone's turn. Oh, good. I got the win button. Does that actually move the turn count forward and just not let people move on it? It just yes. cycles through everyone. It was like they lose a turn. Turn That's end. stupid. Yeah, it's great. You really got rid of that in Mario Party 1? Oh, look, I drawed XY Dragon Cannon. Nice. That's good. Only level 6. Man, what if Kaiba Man's ability in this game Three, was just four, you could you five, could just randomly six. summon blue eyes? 
Like how he actually works. Level in the two game. monster would be for free. But what about oh, level? Random. Hang on. What level three? One, two, three. I can. Can I beat that? Let's find out. It's only Gorilla Turtle or Gor Turtle. Uh, that would tie it. Hang on. It's eleven 1 hundred in both. So. Okay. That's the golden standard. Uh, no. Eh, no, nah, none no. of them would really beat it. Unless, ah. Nah. Don't go level three then. Yeah, no. Actually, hang on. One, two, three, four. That moved. Uh, four goes to Chicago. Yeah, Maya's just kind of been hanging out there and she's winning. <laughs> yeah, she is, isn't she? Um, hang on a second. What cards do I have down? I have level five. Level four. Oh, these are those are. Oh, I can sacrifice this. So probably best to do that. So, let's put X Y Dragon Cannon on. Mm. Um, get, rolling a two means a free summon, so that's Boys fine. Jar. I could put this here just in case, but you know, level six would also be good in yeah. case we can Having do another that. Meteor dragon to get stolen. Steal. Yeah. Level three. Don't want that. Level four. Don't want that. Three, um, hang on, what's a seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's literally- uh, It's our own different dimension dragon. Yeah, so I don't want to do that. Um, um, I'll put this here just because. Yeah, I mean, if we do roll it, we can like put it in defense position and at least stalemate. Oh, four is, Worst I'm sorry, scenario. one, two, three, four. Right, that goes to Chicago. I keep forgetting. It's easy to forget in this dumb game. Going from Kaiba Land to Chicago. Let's just do it. We've unleashed the greatest Yu-Gi-Oh controversy. <laughs> yeah, the chat's just arguing about what's cheating now. Meanwhile, the gods can just be like, Hey, you say you're gonna draw. You, you're about to draw. Um, um, here's this new tuner monster. It's on top of your deck now. That's not <laughs> cheating. Well, it's not, because he put it in his deck and he drew it naturally. No, literally, uh, his the top of his deck glows. It's like here. Here's, um, Shooting Star Dragon, or whatever the fuck it was called. I don't remember. End I don't of know, turn. man. You say his deck was trash. Yes, it was. It's literally the Junk Monsters. Junk Monsters and then a bunch of Stardust shit that didn't mesh well. It, it did. Shut up. It, yeah, it one, did. One, two, three, did it. four, Trap five, That's six, one. seven. Fire and Scarecrow was a card you could put face down and activate, and it would flip back down. Right? Yeah. No. So imagine shuffling that one around. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. See? Okay, fine. You say cheated, but his, the other guy was a bigger ass. That's why he did it. Okay. All right. We finally, we're finally like all in agreement. We've all one, made peace. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's be good to land on, I guess. But hang on. What should I go for as a summon? Two, three, four. Three and four is probably best for that. So where is this? Four, three, three, three. Want this for the movement. Um, I'll take this off. Put this Put down. A giant mech soldier. Yeah. Six. Level six. Meteor dragon. So what does this do? That's a lucky zone. We'll see how lucky it is. One four. three. Dice total is four. That's literally the last thing that happened. That's a miss. End of turn. Yami Yugi's turn. Okay. It's like tribute. He does nothing. He loses because he he's a wiener. He keeps rolling like tributes and then not tributing, so he's it's not a like. Dice duel. By the way, I think I looked this up the first time I ever played this, but do you know there's a Yu Gi Oh! Monopoly? I'm not surprised by that, honestly. It's probably more fun than this game. He took 250 points of damage. You know what? I'm pretty sure that, um, you know those. What are those? Those three spots around the board that are like the stations or whatever? You mean the four of them? The four of them were. Yeah. I think they're like, they were like the Egyptian gods plus something else. I, I'm pretty sure there was whatever. Oh, that's weird. And Yu-Gi-Oh's Exile cards literally manifest into his extra deck. <laughs> you have to remember that Four Kids edits the crap out of everything. Like, you, you, every, we all know the infamous, did you just summon a bunch of monsters in one turn for Kaiba? Yeah. In the in the in the original subversion, Kaiba summons one on each turn. But in the four kids edit, they're just like, "Hey Yugi, look at my blue eyes! I'm gonna summon three of them consecutively." <laughs> Why? Because I they thought kids were stupid, I guess. Oh, I'm I'm playing. What the hell happened? Uh, he landed on your different dimension dragon. What was his card? I can't see his I don't card. No. 
I'm gonna say attack position. Some of my favorite scenes are the ones where Joey and Tristan have a heartfelt moment on the beach and Tristan punches them. And in the English one, we just go, Hey guys, it's Joey, bye! <laughs> oh, Yugi destroyed my monster. And oh. the finger guns from Bandit Keith when he was threatening Pegasus. Yeah, and, and then the two, guys, the two guys who confront no, Kaiba. He, he, he falls down the, the trap door, all the he fall, he just falls, like, ah, and, and then when he lands, it's like, ouch, ouch. Yeah. Kaiba, my monster went to the graveyard. And you, in Arc 5, Yuya literally creates a game mechanic mid duel. <laughs> How? Uh, something, right? No, that, no, that's part of the game. No, we Are we it. sure? No, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens is the one where the where the kid just makes up the damn rules. She can see things now. When it comes to the original series, I know the one the one I, I brought this up on Dylan's stream before, but uh, there's the the scene that was altered after Joey uh, loses to Merrick, where in the English dub Merrick's all like high and mighty, he's like, haha, he never stood a chance against me and all that. But in the Japanese version, Merrick is visibly shaken after the duel and even throws up afterwards because of how like close it was. Oh. Yeah, it, it was pretty like it was pretty rough on him. I want to get my six here, so Joey oh, got fucking four. robbed. Yeah, Joey was robbed of that duel. <laughs> he won by all rights. He, he did. He fainted. Six. Um, do I want to go seven here? Yeah, sure. Why not? Seven. One, a good two, number. three, four, five, six, seven. I'd be able to blow this thing away. So yeah, we could take back our fucking meteor dragon. Make him the star face. No, not star yes. face. Not star face. Yes, not we anymore. want him. No, 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 no. Dylan, we Christian, we want our meteor dragon. It, that's back. not a. Andrew, I'm not sacrificing two monsters just to get one and six to the stupid battle. I've been on your stream too much. Um, I haven't recorded with Christian in a long ass time besides like the Mario Party streams. I don't know what else to put on. If we put on three. What, what do we have in three? Oh, uh, we, our... we don't want to replace that with a level three monster, nah. so. I'm just gonna roll the damn All right, dice. Alright, now roll a seven anyway. Or we get, we either get what we want or nothing. It's nerf or nothing, bro. Oh, would you look at that? What, you're saying this like I'm somehow wrong about something. No, because you are. Because I'm right. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's sacrifice this. And then let's sacrifice... Um, we don't need Morphing Jar. When did we summon Morphing? Oh, yeah, we got it for free. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to sacrifice two monsters and uh, get robbed. And Yugi's going to change a heart in this one now. No, because we're going to beat him. And then we're going to take away his life points and he's going to lose. He went defense position. Come on. <gasps> oh, I have a mini heart attack every time that stupid dice rolls. We did it. We beat our meteor dragon. We, that we beat stole our own monster. Us. Yeah. Yugi's level went down. Uh, we don't have. We have the second highest life points. Oh yeah, I guess we we did take a bit of a hit. Meanwhile, Maya's in Chicago, like halfway, like halfway to the victory condition. H jar. It's jar. fine. Oh look at that. Wow, Too bad creeps reversed. don't have that thing. Yeah. So, anyways, about this game. Um, so as you can see, it's kind of stupid, really stupid and unbalanced, but it seems like there's a fun idea here. Yeah, there, there's a good concept, but it's it's execution. Yeah. I know there's a there's this there's a similar like um, crazy Japanese board game I have on Steam. I want to try streaming it sometimes. Chat, have you ever heard of 100% Orange Juice? I have actually. Uh, no. No. It oh, seems no. like a very silly RNG heavy game. I'd like to stream it sometime. He used his superpower. I haven't played it. No. Yes, I have. I swear to God. I'm sorry. Takes, he used what? I was uh, reading change chat. Of, change of heart. It's, it didn't work. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you, Yugi. Don't say a swear. We say heck on this channel. No, you don't. I'm monetized. <laughs> point. Yeah, you say heck on this channel and you heck off. Oh, fudge, man. Yeah, fudge and heck. It's Weeb Mario Party, yes, with cute waifus. Well, that's all you had me right there. And for some reason, it's named after Orange Juice? Yes. Well, I think the nickname for it, even it's called 100% Orange Juice, but fans call it 100% RNG Juice. Of course they do. Yeah. She tributed a monster. That could be fun to stream, both on my own, intentionally just grab other people on for views. Creeps. What the heck? Crimson Sunburn. It's very RNG. I'd like to try and stream it soon. I mean, I probably could next time, considering I just finished Coffin of Ashes and the main story of Mystery Dungeon. I'm probably I can play the post game whenever I want at this point. Have fun trying to recruit you. 
Uh, maybe, like, I'm recruiting everything. No, but you need to recruit Mew to get, like, half the shit. Oh, yeah! Oh, I guess that's that's a miserable thing. Yeah, so, uh, have fun. All right. One, that's a two, joke, Chad. three, He's not four, gonna have five, fun. six. Okay, so I want to avoid... Wait. Never play 100% RNG Geo solo. The AI cheats. Oh, is it? Can you play, um... Can you play multiplayer with just one person in the same screen? I'm just wondering. Tell me about that, chat. <laughs> I'd love to Tell play... I don't want to play with cheating AI, but... You want to play 100% Orange Juice Story Mode for stuff, though. Okay, okay, it sounds like it'd for be... stuff. Because what I've seen in that game, it looks like it would be fun for streaming, because... A best way to describe it is it looks like this game, but much, much better. Much, much better. Anyways, I keep getting distracted here. One, two, three, four. So I want to avoid five. That's all I want to do, so... Uh, I don't think I have anything else to sacrifice, Andrew. Uh, not really, no. I was going to say, we probably want to put down some more lower-level stuff again. What do I have on the... I have one monster on the board. Where... Well, there's the one we're standing on, too. Oh, yeah, you're right, duh. Yeah. Hang on a second. View map. I no, wrong I one. I think that was our li lizard man guy? Yeah, yeah level lizard. four. And we've got a level seven. So, yeah, we only have the two. Uh, I don't want to give up him up yet, so I'm going to... Going for level three monsters, I can get them for free. Mm. So I want to avoid five. Hang on, sorry. One, two, three, four. So threes and fours are free summons. We should take advantage of that yeah. before Yugi steals it. Yeah. And then he'll steal it anyway with change of heart. Yeah, he will, because he's a little piece of shit. Piece of fudge. Piece of peanut piece of butter. Butt, piece of butt brownies. He is a piece of peanut butter and chocolate candy. Hmm. So he's a Reese? Yeah, basically. He's a Reese of shit? He's a re he is a Reese of shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Orange Juice has a cute witch girl, but she's $1 DLC. I, I, you think I can't afford that for witch girls? You underestimate my love of witch girls, Mina. You think, you think that small paywall will stop us? OJ is very DLC heavy. But is it as DLC heavy as Train Simulator? I mean, I can if I'm going to stream it, I mean, I, I don't mind dropping a little extra coin on that stuff. Christian, have you heard The Legends of Train Simulator? I've heard something about that game, oh, not since a long time. Uh, well, let me just, let me, I forget okay. the exact number, so let's just look up the uh, the exact amount that all the DLC costs. You know, you know a stream's good when you spend it talking about playing a better game. <laughs> I love Destiny Board Traveler. You know what's funny? In Japan, this game is, is, is titled something else, obviously. It's something like, there's a Japanese term for this exact type of uh, board game. Or a similar type of board game. But in North America, they just call it Destiny Board Traveler. Because they're like, hey, you know that one card called Destiny Board? Bam. It's a <laughs> game. Title. What's he doing? He doing stuff. It's got more DLC than Tekken 7. Does it have more DLC than Dead or Alive 6? That's a better question. Nothing has more DLC than that game. Well, except maybe this train simulator thing. I don't mind, I don't mind buying some weird DLC. If it's $1 Witch Girl DLC, I will shell out the money for that. I'm okay with that. After all, I'm a YouTuber. I'll, I'll tell you what, if I'm playing a DLC-heavy game, guess what? New Softlock episode next week. Bam, problem solved. Yes, it does. Oh, my. How much DLC does... I mean, I already have the game. I'm pretty sure Trevor bought it for me as a gift a long while ago, and I never got around to playing it. What, Train Simulator? No, not Train Simulator. <laughs> that sounds like something he'd do, 100% orange juice. Oh. I'm gonna round to it. Pretty sure Train Simulator DLC is over $1,000. <laughs> wow. Oh, you are, lo you are being generous. I think it's got the Guinness World Record for having the most DLCs. The game itself is only like a dollar or two, so that helps. So it's not even free to play? What kind of garbage is that? Oh, Andrew, I got my win button. Oh, nice. S special technique. It's a super special technique. Actual quote, quote, Kaiba Man. All players lose one turn. Broken, fair and balanced. Anyways, what was I up to? I can sacrifice now, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Guess who's getting destroyed? Yay! Summon... What is the highest attack points? So this, this, this... This... 
Um, and I hang on a second. One, two, three. Okay, I want my level three monsters then if I can. Level two would be fine as well. Um, wait, level four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't take that down. That's too high. Um. Oh, I'm, I'm full anyway. Okay. Uh, why is this so hard to find? Level six. Didn't get my star face though. All right, so as of uh, June 9th, 2017, Train Simulator with all its DLC cost $6,402.46. Wow, I could get a whole ship in Star Citizen for that. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, that was of 2017. I'm fairly certain there's more DLC since then, so it's, o it's only going to go okay, up. Okay, so we got two level four monsters, and so this is our weakest one. Let's sacrifice it. Didn't we just want to not do that? I don't know. Who even cares anymore? We're battling, man. Right, we gotta yeah, beat Yugi. We, we have to take a chance. We've got our giant. Leave it up to the die. I don't oh. know what monster that is. He had man eater bug. <sighs> Fucking course he Ooh. has man eater bug. Heckin back. Heckin course he has man eater Heckin. bug. Oh look, hey, we got we one in six. six. So now the monster goes back to our hands, and uh, our sacrifice was for nothing. Good. What do you buy? Gem coated trains. Uh, good question, actually. Let, let's check the post. What what can you buy? In I deserve this for having an ability that skips everyone's damn turn anyway. Another level six monster. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to do that. I do definitely do not want to replace this thing. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I'm pretty sure you literally just buy different kinds of trains and different routes you can one, take. One, two, three, four, five. So, going four would be the best. Um, don't want to go level two. Hmm. So, if you ever have $6,000 you want to burn, uh, there's this little game on Steam that you can burn it all on. Bad cards for this space. Uh, I don't want to warp to Chicago. I want to stay on this place. If I can. Shoot. I like how we've just been in Kai the whole time. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could also how just... How have I only just now noticed the clown chained up in the corner? What, the Hulk? The Hulk clown? Yeah. Yeah, was, the, the manga was weird, Andrew. This I, was this I'm was before it was about... Th this was before it was about the card game. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, I don't know what to do. I might just do level six for the movement, because we're not going to replace Machine King, that's for sure. Nah. Oh, that's unfortunate, but we need more cards, I guess. We really need the star face here. Anything uh... but the star face is, is bad. Uh... Uh... Oh, I didn't get it. Oh. That's your monster card. You can trade a card. No. Yeah. You can, re you, yeah, you can basically put a card. Does that mean back you can put hand. down like a level six without tributing, or? No, you okay. still have to tribute, but you can take the other one on, uh, take it back to your hand if you want, I guess. Okay, but why would you want to do that? Oi, oi, oi. What is best, Yu-Gi-Oh waifu? I don't really know. There's lots. There are a handful. He's using Beaver Warrior. There's, is that ha! yours? That is not my Beaver. Beaver Warrior. Warrior. Beaver Warrior in attack mode. I like the Charmer cards. They're cute. Train Simulator's DLC is currently $9,732.45. Oh, good. Boy. I mean, I like the, also like the Witchcrafter's archetype. That's cool. If I had 6k to burn, <laughs> I'd put in a retirement account. <laughs> I, I put a lot of money in that. Almost 10k. Hey, who you... buys all the DLC for that stuff? Uh, the real question is, who makes it? Tour guide from the underworld? Oh, yeah, tour guide. Can't forget so, about her. So, I, I have a joke for the chat. Okay. Alright, so, I, I I had this idea of recently. I, it's the, the greatest get-rich-quick scheme you could ever think of. Uh, make a gotcha game? No. Do you want to know what it is? Why? I'll tell you for a million dollars. Whoa. Aren't I hilarious? You are hilarious. I'm also, I, I get to skip everyone's turn again. Oh, sick. Fair and balanced. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Um, one, Shout out Mina, you know two, it was hilarious. Three, four. 
Three and four would be really good in this situation. Five, six. All right, so let's go. I feel like I've heard that statement before. Yes, I know, and I didn't get what I wanted before. Yeah, we, we tend to do that. Starface. <laughs> three, three, three. Yeah, three. see, Chad agrees. I'm hilarious. He's so funny. How does he do it? Um, actually, making Cyber Falcon Starface would be good. By the way, in this game, there is literally no way to look at a character's deck. Oh, You good. basically learn by trial and error what's in their deck, unless you, like, look it up online or something. Nice. As Roll funny nice. as a Dane Cook joke? Hey, man. Still a joke. Still funny to someone out there <laughs> on the world. Level three. I summon Mystical Sheep number two. Yay. I love how there's monsters that just, like, are something number two. You mean, like, Buster they gave... Dragon number two? But, like, when when they got to the point of, like, making archetypes, they didn't bother, like, they didn't bother naming other monsters number two. Yeah. I, like, I when they think... make something like Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, they're, like, not, like, Blue Eyes Dragon number two. Well, that would that would just be silly because yeah, it's would a different be silly. kind of dragon. But you know what's funny? There's two There's two cards, right? There's Man-Eating Plant and Dark World Thorns. One of them's in my hand, actually. Mm. A funny my coincidence. Yu-Gi-Oh card is always... Yeah, yeah, Man-Eating Plant. So, Dark World Thorns is the same monster, but blue instead of green. And this was early Yu-Gi-Oh days, so why didn't they just call one of them Man-Eating Plant number two? I don't know, why not? Exactly. It's like exactly. how in the anime there was a at, at some point in the original series there there was a monster called Ruby Dragon which was just Luster Dragon number one recolored red. Hmm. Cyber Dragon kind of has that. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six would be fine to roll, but um, one, two, three, four. I'd still want to get Cyber Falcon if I can, but Cyber six. Dragon kind of has that. Well, Cyber the Cyber Dragon archetype is literally everything is treated as Cyber Dragon. Yes. Yes, fun fact about those cards is it's important distinction is when it says while they're on the field, they're called Cyber Dragon. Because if the card also says this card's name is Cyber Dragon without that specification, yeah. you it still fills up one of the slots of being in your deck for as a Cyber Dragon. So you can't just run three copies of Cyber Dragon and then three copies of something that says it's also Cyber Dragon, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I know uh, the, the Harpy Ladies have that distinction, right? How yeah, all, they like, do. They're all considered they a Harpy Lady, so you can only have, like, the three in your deck. Ah. Uh, do I have... Ah, uh, my thing's full anyway. Zwei and Dry, they're Cyber Dragon 2 and 3. Yeah, no. but they used a fancy German name, so that's different. <laughs> No, you don't have to feel bad if Red Eyes Darkness Dragon is your favorite. That card is cool. You know why? Because Red Eyes is cool. Darkness Metal Dragon's better. Nope. Isn't that card, like, bad? How does that card work? Is it a fusion monster? No, it's just awesome. It's just better. <laughs> it's without just all awesome. the restrictions. <laughs> without without the restrictions. <laughs> it's awesome. Dice totals five. Kaiba Man may, may claim one creep. Oh. Oh, nice. I just get to... Okay, that's cool. Uh, Which claim the one... Yugi standing on because he can't land on it next turn, right? Yeah. It's like the the pro ZD skate where it's like how how people build their decks and the, the like the first half is just this dude playing this long ass combo and then the second guy is just like I play cool cow. <laughs> he's like cool he, cow. He's like you you get you play him and you put a sunglasses token on him and also you get to wear sunglasses. Whoa! He's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, how do you think Yu-Gi-Oh characters like open booster packs in their universe? They just well, do it there off are, There are like dedicated card shops, aren't there? So you can just buy individual cards. Yeah, but cards. they never do that. Like, uh, very rarely. But, but Kaiba tried to. If he's like, give me that blue eyes, I'll, I'll give you a case, uh, case of money. And Grandpa's like, sorry, I don't sell cards here in my card shop. <laughs> yeah, he did. You know what's funny? You th what do you think goes through Pegasus's mind when he releases Blue Eyes support cards? Did he just use them as pack filler? Cause so every time anyone opens a rare Blue Eyes card, they're like, "Oh gee, a card I can't use because Kaiba owns them all." I you know. Think Kaiba designed his entire Blue Eyes kit alone, so only he has them. Yeah, I've always I've always wondered that. Like, so there were four Blue Eyes in existence, right? And then, presumably, Kaiba created the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which requires three of them to even use. I mean, in Duelist Kingdom, you could basically say they made those cards up whenever they needed them. I mean, also true. He made Kaiba Man, right? He that's, did. That's a 
Kaiba card. Yeah, its special ability is you contribute it to Kaiba is realize. the ultimate example of a person that hates the creator of a game but continues to give them all their money anyway. <laughs> yeah, he likes Pokemon. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> Defense, Grandpa. Okay, Yugi did not win that at all. Hat get fucked. You believe in the heart of the cards, yo. I'm sorry, get fudged. Wait, Yugi has no star points anymore. What happened? He had a change of heart. Heh. <laughs> Heh. I like how the creeps are just the back of a Yu-Gi-Oh! I like how Mai is winning this game because she's just been wandering around Chicago alone this whole time. Because no one no one has left their starting board. We did and did. we got stuck with Yugi, so uh Yeah. That was fun. Me kill him. Defeat we it. Need, we need to go to Chicago and like steal everything Mai owns. We do. Oh look! Our superpower! Yeah, Mai is kinda just winning the game right now yeah he'll take damage equal to the destroyed monsters attack points okay so two three four i think we do want to go to chicago because if we just steal all of my stuff we can win all right all right all right i'll star face this but what else can do one two three four five six if we roll a five we can get a free space i guess that's true yeah Unless we sacri well, we sacrifice we'll have to sacrifice but we got that free yeah blobby thing so put that there um, this could also work, but level six, three, we don't want that, four, we also, we do want yeah. that. Okay, so the two, oh, no, 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 I want Starface on that. I guess that. Ugh. Whoop. Oh, two. The Roll two next time. Summoned. Well, I mean, we can still get the space. Let's do it. This the is this cloud monster is super weak. It's a blob. It's not a cloud. Whatever. Dice duel. I'm sorry. The crust. It, it's really hard to tell what anything is. Oh look, we both got one and sixth. We lose. Kaiba man failed to steal the space. Creep has no life points to lose. It's dumb. It lost. That's cool. <laughs> But we get to take our turn again because we're a fair and balanced oh, character. Yeah, right. We did do that, huh? We Blast, got Blast juggler. juggler. So we want this so we can go to Chicago. But we can also just, um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we want it. Four would be good. No one, five. Six would also be preferable. So let's see. Three. Um, four, six. Oh, yeah. Remember two. when, uh,. Remember when Yugi, uh, someone in chat brought it up. Remember when Joey and Yugi did the tag duel where they summoned uh, Black Skull Dragon despite the fact that Joey only had red eyes for like one episode? Yeah. Implying that one of those two had to have that monster in their deck when Six. they couldn't use it. Which means it was probably Joey because Joey's an idiot. I Joey's dumb dumb. Wall Shadow where it went in the Lambeth Eight. and you couldn't attack it because it was in the wall. Damage. Wait, well, damage monster. received equals level times 100. Oh. What? Oh, we just, we got just lost nearly half our life points from that. Oh, that is dumb. Yeah, that's kind of shitty. I that's mean, dumb. Reesey. Yeah, greasy. Reese, Reese's, please sponsor us. No, I don't want that. I don't want to be sponsored by a candy company. They don't deserve that. I'll talk that. about how I love peanut butter cups because I do. Speaking of peanut butter, I was out the other day with Trevor. There was a diner we were at, mm. and they had peanut butter burgers. Huh. We didn't eat them because we uh, wanted to eat there and enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy it. But that sounds disgusting. <laughs> sounds like something Gordon Ramsay wouldn't have. I ended up having like some what was called a Hendon burger. It was a burger with like an egg on it with guacamole, and it was like the most. It has a taste, but it didn't taste good or bad, and I I, I didn't really <laughs> it like has it. A hey, we got Wolf back. Here we do one, two, three. Four, five, six. Six would also be good. Three and six. So let's do that. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Five is fine as well. Um, Four wait. would be fine too. Wait. Oh, that leads to Chicago. Yeah, I definitely use four. Well, do they both lead to Chicago? Um. Yeah, the the ones with the uh, the gems on it lead okay. to Chicago. Okay, anything here is fine. 
Remember when the Paradox Brothers said that uh, they they couldn't destroy the uh, the Gate Guardian because they it was three separate monsters, even though it wasn't. That's some X Y Z material shit. Xyz. Go Yugi. No, it's not me for this. Mm. Yeah, for some reason, Red Eyes Black Chick isn't counted as a Red Eyes monster. It's uh, like the name is actually just Black Dragon Chick now to spe specifically make it really? so that you can't use it with Red Eyes support. Huh? That's it's weird. She see all the monsters. Oh, she's out of Chicago. Oh shit, she left. I mean, um, Reese's Guardian KS. Is that a? What am I looking at there, Andrew? It almost looks like. What do you see there? I see a mermaid uh, that's uh, nearly topless. I see, um... Tell me, what do you see when you look at the blob? I see, uh, like, a blue eraser. I, I no, see... no, no, now I see, like, a robot. I see... Now I see a topless mermaid. I don't know how you see that. I also feel like I could see, like, a weird... Like, a, a weird bootleg, like, pre-marina face. Like, very, very bootleg. Hmm... It's so cards don't have to say except red eyes black chip. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. It saved for sp it saved space for text on the cards. I see a tombstone with blue vines. That is all. Chat, what do you see when you look at this? Cause I can't. Someone look up the actual card. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. You do that, so I'm not. Guardian click link. of K S. K S. Anyways, now a uh, one, two, three, four. Ooh, level one monster. Let's go for that. And wake out, uh, break out Yugi stuff. Star faced. Um, one, two, three would be good. Three, one, two, three, four, five. Well, you weren't terribly far off. It's just the mermaid isn't. Oh, the mer it's, a, it's the mermaid, but her top is nearly the same color as her skin. I see. I was not. I was close, chat. Four, five. Um, actually, two wouldn't be so bad either. Uh, wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. And this is... Okay, six is also a good option. Let's do that. Um, I'll take off this one, put an extra six. Actually, right here. We have a lot of cards in our hand. Yeah, we do. I don't know if there's a limit, to be honest. <laughs> like, you end up with a lot. We're just trying to get to Chicago at this point. We're just trying to... It, we're just trying our best, you know? Four. Oh, none oh, of the card none of the card effects are real. The are all the effects are listed in the game, but they have absolutely no bearing on the game. It's stupid. Oh, good. The first mm. Red Eyes Black Dragon was mistranslated in German and was called Red Eyes Blue Dragon because they didn't know what the the B was standing for in the name. They didn't even look at the card call. Really? Wow. <laughs> they did that? That's a, that was a that's a Funimation move, is what that was. Mm, mm. They didn't look at the card and they didn't know what the B stood for, so they just called it Red Eyes Blue Dragon. Mm. Attack position, that. I'm about to destroy this whole key mace unless I get one and six. I'm about to end this man's whole career. I got one and six. The game just ended our whole Hand career. limit is 60. Are you talking about this game or in general? Wait, no, no, the original actual game does not have a hand limit of 60. I'm most positive of that. It probably did prior to that dude who brought a deck of it like not, 100 no. cards. It's his turn. Mm. I'm willing to bet that dude that brought that giant deck probably runs stall in Pokemon. Mm. Why is he just drawing cards? I don't know. Cards just went. Oh the wait, yeah, because he's in. Uh... Can you deck out in this game? I don't even know. There's no graveyard <laughs> or G -Y. something. No GY. Yes. I know what's called. I know what's called, Andrew. <laughs> the GY stands for graveyard. How is it blue? You know what's funny is um. Has anyone ever talked about why Dark Magician, like, changes his appearance after his first card and no one ever... Like, he just turns blonde and he has, like, bluish-green skin? Yeah, why is that? I don't know. What happened to him? That man's green. <laughs> hmm. I don't know, man. He was, ne he was never the same after uh, Battle City. End of turn. Yeah, my almost my is like seven points away from winning. We need to get to Chicago. Yeah, I know. I've been trying to get to Chicago now, Andrew. One, God, two, why three, is it so four, hard five. to get to Chicago? I know. Just go there right from Japan. It's so easy in Reshef. <laughs> um, what five? Do I have? I had a five somewhere. Here it is. 
Uh, four. One, two, three, four. And so we'll replace that. We'll just... Hang on a second. One, two. Uh, level two monster there. Put some threes and twos on there. Uh, we want the five, ultimately. Actually, what about six? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's where Yugi is. Mm, I, we could go for six as well. Yeah, why not? We have Maybe. a lot of cards now. We have options, Andrew. We have options, because we are smart people. Yeah, like going to Chicago. Yeah. Hand limit is infinite here. Six. Our six. We land on Yugi. That monster's already summoned. Tribute Hold is on. needed. Hold on. He, he has seven stars, and that's like one. So, unless he has another monster that's somewhere. A, that's a level four monster. We already oh, checked okay. that. I'm going to oh. sacrifice this. You, you, you checked it. I didn't. I went down one level. Let's do this. It's Kaiba Man's turn. Attack position. I like the I like the All episode right, the where where Jaden dueled Kaiba Man and Kaiba Man was like, I use my own special ability to summon Blue Eyes directly to the field. It's like, um, excuse me. Are you on the field, Kaiba Man? It's like when he dueled the Jindo Spirit and Jindo's like, since I'm a monster, my effect takes place. It's like he rips off his trench coat and walks into the field. <laughs> It's Yami Yugi's turn. He's doing his thing. Man, why? Who? I hope whoever decided in GX Duel Academy that everyone should have Jinzo in their deck was fired. No, they won't get fired. I hope he. They was. had to have good cards, Andrew. What did you expect them to do? Okay, but there are other good cards that are not named Jinzo. Are there? Oh, look, he got one in six. Ha yeah, like Burst Stream of Destruction, which they programmed incorrectly. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh cards are cool. Yeah, it's great. End of turn. He's going, he's going. It looks like we are going to finish this in one sitting after all. That's okay. You know, for better or for worse. Because it looks like we're going to lose. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we stream something next time? What do we play? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm I'm playing now. Uh, Mystical Sheep 2. I think I'll go defense position. Oh, that's the god attack you. <laughs> don't want to six me now. Don't want to six me now. Hey. Time for a card battle. Yeah, I got destroyed. He stole my monster. No. <laughs> Yuki's level raised by five. That's okay. He's still in last. That monster's already summoned. Here she go. Okay, she's getting rid of her monsters. Mai's gonna win, and just there's nothing we can do about it. Not really. That's we the just, problem. We with... have to get to Chicago and steal our stuff. Imagine playing like with eight boards. You'd, I'd have, you'd have no reason to go to a different board. Not really. You just claim that one board and then try and move on. That'd be dumb. The creep was defeated. Yeah, she only needs like. That's probably like a level seven monster, yeah? Yeah, so she only needs five more. Oh, boy. And we still can't go to Chicago. Launch, Launch fire. Spider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, make Launcher Spider. Wait, this moves to the bet. I'm an idiot. Oh, uh, yeah. See, that's why I was asking. Like, do they both take us to Chicago? Yeah, I'm a dumb dumb. It's okay. I know. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. Uh, four and five will be good. A six also will be fine. I can trade it, but... Uh, damn it. God dang it, this keeps stupid sometimes. Only sometimes? Yeah. Uh, Hang on. I mean, would One, moving two, to Tibet three, even be that bad of a... Well, nah, yeah, you know, I'd say we want to go to Chicago. Um, guess five is fine. Want to Don't get one in six, though. But... Place it all in luck, maybe? I mean, isn't that what this whole game is? Yep. Super RNG. So, in other words, our game plan hasn't changed. Four. Let's hope things work out. Mm, hopefully. We just... I, I think if we get to Chicago, we can... We probably win. Maybe. Or we could just get a dumb superpower and take extra turns. I mean, that too. I would like for that to happen. We're losing, even though we have that ability, too. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yugi uh... hasn't gotten his stupid change of heart again, luckily. He moved to Chicago! Well, I hope everything works out for him in this new chapter of his life. 
Mm. So how do we break the news to him that he's not the Pharaoh of Chicago? Is anybody the Pharaoh of Chicago? No, because Chicago doesn't have a Pharaoh. No, really? No, I know. It's hard to believe. Yeah. Skull Redbird defeats Karibo. What a shocker! No one's taking any life point damage. We, it seems like we should have set the stars even higher. But well, I doubt you say that, but we lost half of ours. Yeah, because of a dumb, stupid chance time, basically. <laughs> da, 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 da. <sighs> what is that card she's got? I see, like, uh, I think there's a... Yeah, there's a sexy lady on that card. I think it's a harpy lady. No, I don't think it's a harpy lady. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they had to give mine more than that, since they can't... There's no spells and traps in this game. But that's her thing. Ooh! Oh, our super... Our plot armor. Let's do it. Remember the time Joey got a red eyes black dragon mech to deal uh, Valen with? What was up with that? It was weird. Six is what we want ideally, so seven also potentially, but wait, one, two, three, four. Four is also fine, but six. Just um, roll the six. Also, now that I've seen what uh, that card looks like, I can finally see how it can look like a mermaid. Seven. Seven. Here we go. Well, let's hope zone. things work out. Snake eyes. We got nine. Mm -hmm. Kaiba Man two. draws two cards. Oh. Whoa, did we just activate Pot of Greed? We did. Oh my god. But we saw a random effect stated, Andrew. It didn't say it was for Pot of Greed. Oh, you know what? You're right. We got Orgoth, Orgoth the Relentless. And we got Blue Dragon Jungle King. Or is it Black Dragon? We can't zoom in on the cards. I don't know. Oh, I know this thing. The Furious Sea King. Okay, I couldn't tell. Uh, I one, feel like two, every three, I... four. We want four, Andrew. Yeah, we do. I feel like every single like word because of the font should be read in like the Yu-Gi-Oh abridged darts voice, just because you can't understand it half the time. Or let's go over here. Four. All right, that's two, three. Oh, we have a level one monster, but we don't want to use that. No, because it's level one. That's booty guard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't want to do that, obviously. Four six. or six, but ideally four. Yeah. Use the extra spots on six now. Let's do it. Hey! We're going to Chicago. The mermaid finally brought us... I just realized mine needs two points to win. Yeah, she does. Let's hope uh, Yugi's not going to do anything about it. God damn it, Yami. Yami just doesn't want to sacrifice anything. He's just here. He's playing the game, but not very well. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. who needs to play well when you can just one and six yourself? Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Let's hope Mai doesn't win. I'd almost want Yugi to change of harder cards at this point. Yeah. He hasn't gotten that for a while. So, oh, he oh. made a tribute. He just sacrificed something and brought up. Uh-oh. He is that eight or six? I can't tell. No, I'm pretty know. sure it's eight. He sacrificed two. Okay, so my can't land on the. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! My might have won. Yeah, if she summons this, she wins. One in six. One, One in six. six. One in six. Now Damn we it. lose. So my just won because she hung around Chicago for an hour. Yeah. That's cool. Congratulations. My we resold lost. 35. My has won. What a piece of crap. Kid, why don't you go home and cry to mommy? Listen oh. here, you old duel master's oh. piece of crap. I am wounded. And that's it. And that's it. That's all that happens. Wow. And that was a game of Yu Gi Oh! Destiny Board Traveler, everybody. Wow, you know what I'd love to do now? literally anything else but that ever again yeah i know isn't it a great game i also love how you can't it's it, it has a shonen jump logo above Yu-Gi-Oh, but you cannot for the light you cannot read it oh, to save God, your life it does too. it's supposed to sit that little brown line above Yu-Gi-Oh is supposed to say shonen jump but it, you can't read it at all isn't that cool i would like to note that i didn't have a single hand in actually playing this and i'd never want to play it again yeah it's a wonderful game wonderful wonderful game Mm. Andrew, you just you didn't do anything but sit there and watch. Yeah, because that's yeah. cool. And I uh, and I told you about how you say cheated. Yeah, he did. 
Anyways, well, that was Yu-Gi-Oh! Destiny Board Traveler. But that's going to be it for the YouTube audience. Hope you all enjoyed, and uh, have a good night. Bye-bye.